Now, another one that we were asked all the time is to change um, the default folder locations. Now, what that means is because whenever you have a new computer, most of them, they come with two drives. The first drive being your C drive, and the second one being usually a data drive. Now, the C drive has got all of your installation programs and everything that makes your computer operating system run. And that's usually a much smaller drive than your uh, data drive. In this instance, he's got data E. Right now, that's a much, much larger drive, and you'd want to be saving all your documents and pictures and all that sort of stuff into that larger drive because then you won't run out of room, and your C drive should be reserved mainly for operating system and programs that when you install them. So to do that, you can go to your My Documents folder, yep. which always exists, yep. and this redirects to some other form of storage, like you're saying. Yeah. So if you select your My Documents and hit the Organize and Properties, you can see that there is a tab that uh, leads you to the location. Right. So rather than the default on your C drive, you can then uh, move this to any other path. So it would be, in this case, E DOS. The, one of the most useful things about this is it separates your personalized information from the Windows operating system. Right, so if the operating system were to stuff up or you were to break it or something, you had to reinstall it, you won't lose all your folders and, and personal um, documents, That's pictures, right. movies, everything like that, music. Yep. Move them all in there. I think there's another way you can do it is if you click on documents at the top, not my documents, but actually documents, you'll see it says at the top includes three locations, right? And so if you click on that, it tells you where they are. Yeah. So you can see usually your uh, default will be C, users, your name, etc. And uh, we've already moved the My Documents to the E drive. Because it's a much larger drive. That's right. And it's just another safety consideration mm -hmm. in order to maintain your files. Usually in Windows 7 as well, if you want to know any more about this stuff, there tends to be links um, in any of these screens. So. You know, this will tell you how, they call them libraries. Yeah. Uh, this is how my docs and my pictures and all that sort of stuff work. And that's new to Windows 7, calling them libraries. And also giving you the uh, ability to change them over is something that's new to Windows 7 as well. That's right. Cool. That background's nice. Yeah, we're obviously in the shuffle theme. So ah, it's, right. It's so it keeps on shuffling them around. That's right. It's interesting.